day 1091 7 14 a.m just got off my morning call ah oh, it was so good i'm just so grateful to god like after calls like that i just feel so humbled just like so honored like lord thank you for giving us that word like thank you for reminding us like thank you for sharing that thank you for the wisdom like man he's so good and he's literally always with us he'll never leave us or forsake us he's always with us it's like we're like little kids you know walking down the street holding our dad's hand and most of us, most of us forgot that we're holding our dad's hand that he's standing right next to us walking right beside us the entire time and if we want to talk to him all we gotta do is look up hey dad like if we want something all we have to do hey dad i'm hungry can we get some ice cream um and yeah this call was just a reminder of that one of the warriors shared something um and then god just gave me a word and um i wasn't gonna say anything because it was like ah uh, i don't want to i don't want this to turn into uh, some kind of challenging conversation but i was just obedient and uh, i went with it and that person just had something broken they said that they felt something broken you know they were in tears and it was it was amazing and it was beautiful because it was exactly the message they needed to hear and i had a whole plan for what this call was going to be and god was like no not today my plan is better <laughs> you're gonna do my plan and uh it was a word for all of us like just talking about how he's he's dad before he's god he's papa before he's god and uh yes our our father is the judge but he's also our father and you know imagine going into a courtroom and you got a speeding ticket and you walk into the courtroom and the judge is there but the judge is also your dad you're gonna have to ask for forgiveness he's gonna rebuke you and say hey stop speeding but case dismissed i love you i'll see you at dinner <laughs> like and and just realizing like that god is our dad and he's our papa he's our abba and really understanding that knowing that is is important so um because that's a different relationship it's a different level of surrender it's a different faith it's a different trust um and it's just a completely different experience of life and so yeah such a blessing such a blessing to be able to have a call like that um yeah it's incredible what god does like when we show up and he shows up it's just it's magic it's just it's amazing and it's just so humbling like i just feel so honored that in in my darkness in my wickedness and in, in all the things that i'm still working on and how judgmental i am and fearful and all these different things that even in all of that he'll still speak through me he'll still use me it's like wow it's just so humbling because i'm not smart enough to say any of that stuff i don't know the word well enough to say any of that stuff but you know when god's speaking through you because he takes over and it's like you're like dang i should take notes on this because i didn't know that and the words are coming out of your mouth and so i'm just whenever he does that which is frequently I just feel so grateful and so humbled that he would choose me to to speak through for these people, you know, these people that I love. And uh, yeah, it's just, <sighs> yeah, it's awesome. I just god just gave me this this visual just walking like in a park and there's a little kid holding his dad's hand and that's us like we're the little kid we're holding god's hand he's walking with us the entire time step by step and most of us have forgotten that he's standing right next to us most of us have forgotten that we're actually holding god's hand we're holding our dad's hand the entire time every moment of our lives like we're holding that Sometimes we want to let go and run away, but that's not a good idea. <laughs> that's not a good idea at all. And even when we let go and run away, he still follows us. Like, he still seeks us. And it's just beautiful. And so much of the time, like, when we're stressed, overwhelmed, worried, fearful, all of these things. Like, all we got to do is remember, like, whose hand are you holding? Look up. Look it. There's your dad. He's right there. Just talk to him dad i'm scared dad i don't know what to do dad i don't know if i can pay this bill what should i do help me and just realizing like he's always there 
He's always there. And so much of the time we're, we're just trying to walk by ourselves and go to God every now and then like, ah, I don't know what to do, God, I need help. And, and we're not living life with him. And we got to remember that we're holding his hand and he's holding our hand. And he's with us every step of the way. Could you imagine walking through a park holding someone's hand and you're walking through a park for years and you never say anything to them? You never acknowledge them? You don't have constant conversations with them? Like, that would be weird. <laughs> but that's how we do life. We literally do life where it's like we talk to God like, you know, once a week, three times a week, whatever. And it's like you're holding his hand. He's He's right there with you and you're just ignoring him. If you would just talk to him more and acknowledge that he's there with you, you would feel so much peace and so much joy and you would unlock so many blessings. Like just that alone would change your life. But most of us are walking around like we're walking in the park by ourselves, not holding God's hand. And uh, that's crazy. That's a hard way to live. That's how I lived. And it is a very hard way to live. It's very lonely. It's very overwhelming. There's a lot of pressure. It's very stressful. Because then all the weight's on you and you got to figure it out is what you believe. Little do you know that your dad's got to figure it out. When you're walking through a park, you don't have to worry about when you're going to eat lunch or where you're going to go or how the bills are going to get paid. <laughs> like you're a kid, you're with your dad. That's your dad's job. He's going to figure all that out. You just got to be obedient. When he speaks, you move. When dad says set the table, okay, set the table. But you set the table knowing the dinner's being made. You don't have to cook the dinner yourself because your dad's going to take care of you. So when God tells you to do something, you're obedient and he will provide in that obedience. And so it's just beautiful. It's a, it's a beautiful relationship. So really good.